In this video, we will perform a what-if analysis with the help of a data table. Let's say we have a very simple database with sales information. We are going to implement a filter for what-if analysis, in technical terms an advanced filter. And in a data table, we are going to give the summary information for each product for each month according to this filter. So let's start with the advanced filter first. This row has an exact replica of the headers or labels in the database. It has to be exact. And in order to avoid that someone changes a label here and forgets to change the labels there, we are going to replace these cells with an array formula. I highlighted these headers and I put in there equals A1 through F1 and accept it with Control Shift Enter. We get an exact replica there. So if I ever change, for instance, sold into quantity sold, then automatically the filter will update. So now we are going to create the data table. At the origin, we put a formula, the total of all the sales. If, if you want a simple total like here, you just go to the cell where you want your total and do ALT plus and you get automatically the total. But that's not the total we have in here, for this total is based on a filter. So if I only want certain uh, above certain quantities, I want this total for everything above that quantity. So I need a D sum function. The D sum function says, tell me where the database is, A1 through F25, what field are you summing? I took the label name F1, and my criteria are in H2 through N3. So when I click on OK, that happens to be the same as this grand total, because I'm not filtering yet. Now, the next step is that I need a two-dimensional data table, or, what, or a one-dimensional one, if that is your choice. So how do I get out of this list in column A, this nicely sorted list with only one item at a time? The easiest way to do so is to go to your column A, start an advanced filter. Data, advanced. Make sure that you do not highlight the entire table, but only A1 through A25. Make sure that you include a label, for filters always work with labels. You want unique records only. And let's copy them to another location. Let's say somewhere here. And when we OK it, we get a list there that does exactly what we want it to be doing. So that's what I did here. You could have done the same there or just type January and then copy it to the right February, March, etc. Now, the data table. The data table is a very powerful tool in Excel that most people are not aware of. All I have to do is highlight the framework of my table. We've had the origin, my formula. Then I go to data, what if analysis, data table. And it says, what is your row input cell? The row input cell is January, February, March. So that is the month variable, that cell. And the column input cell is the product cell, H3. 
And at the moment you click on OK, Excel does all the work for you. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic tool. If you want to know what it did in the background, then you will see that it created there a formula that says equals table i3, h3. And it put that all in there. It's actually a array formula that you cannot type. So it puts braces around it. It does that automatically. Don't do that on your own. The menu did that for you. And that's what we got. Why is it so powerful? Be because from now on, I can really filter everything in here. Let's say I only want cost prices over one dollar. So kiwi and orange drinks do not have any values there. I could also say I want only quantities over 100. And these are the products that sold over 100. If you want several options, then I could say I want cost prices over $1 and at the same time quantities over 100. And that's what we got. And of course you could do the same for total. The only problem is at this moment that I cannot do that for a certain product or a certain month. Because these two guys are being used by the data table. So if you want to filter also for products, you need in your filter an extra column. I did that already. It's included in the filter. And you call that product again. It has to be spelled exactly the same way as there. And let's say we only want Kiwi. So we get only the Kiwi results. I can even use wildcards. I could say everything that starts with a D. D asterisk. So I get all the diet drinks. And nothing else. The filter works in a fantastic way. The advanced filter does the what if analysis. And the data table does the rest of the work. Probably have many questions left. There is so much you can do with data tables and what if analysis that I wrote a book that shows you the power of data tables and what if analysis. It's called Excel Simulations. It has 80 different cases of simulations in the area of gambling, statistics, genetics, growth and expansion, finances, Monte Carlo simulations, iterations, and extras. So the book is very rich. It has all these examples. You find a, a beautiful array of simulations, like random walks. How do you normalize your, in statistics? How do you calculate sampling sizes? How do you do quality control? In genetics, we could simulate genetic drift. We could simulate the molecular clock, DNA sequencing. In finances, we could do simulations on Asian options, return on investment, on scenarios, missing and exceeding targets. We can do a predator's prey cycle, titration, EC50 determination, epidemics, conditional training. The list is endless, endless, endless. You can find that book at genesispc.com.